try and dumb their things. We actually put them into customers' hands, and then we do an ethnographic study. Mm -hmm. We actually sit there and watch them. How do they use it? Mm -hmm. What do they find frustrating? Does it actually solve a problem? But, you know, because actually, you go to a customer with a blank piece of paper and say, well, "What features would you like in Leap Book Reader?" The customers are typically a very poor source because they don't know what's possible. Yes. And they're, not even, they're not even frustrated. You go to them, you know, what are you frustrated about reading a magazine today? I don't know. I can flip pages. It's just easy. They don't know what's possible. It doesn't work. It's too hard. I can't navigate. You know, I don't like the zooming in and out to try to find the page I want. You can eventually iterate to find a solution that then works. But the key for us, what we find is, is doing these fast prototypes, getting these built, getting them in customers' hands. Lots of timing. You know, we can build technology. You know, we don't lack for that, that, that capability. It's when is, what, can you find the right solution that solves the problem with the right business model that makes sense for everybody in the space? If we can get maybe one or two more generations on their resolution mm -hmm. and we can improve, improve the refresh rate on it, then I think you know, we can, we, that, that becomes a viable alternative. We're also doing a lot of experimentation. You know, we basically you know, hand built the, <laughs> the, the boards in it. You know, I mean, this is, you know, I'll be a, yeah, it looks slick and futuristic. This is a pretty crude prototype by any, by any stretch of the imagination.